Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As the food and soul of modern industry, chips are an industry that is highly valued by countries around the world. However, since the United States was the first to invent transistors and integrated circuits, it has a large number of chip technologies and basic patents in its hands and has long penetrated into all aspects of the global semiconductor industry chain, resulting in many companies being choked by it. For example, chip foundry giants TSMC, Samsung, and lithography giant ASML have more or less used American technology and equipment. Therefore, when the United States forcibly revised the chip rules, even as strong as they are, they cannot continue to provide chips and foundry chips to Chinese companies such as Huawei. You must know that China is the world's largest semiconductor consumer market. Previously, due to the prevalence of the idea of making is not as good as buying, buying is not as good as renting, China started late in the field of semiconductor manufacturing. Although it has strong chip design capabilities, it cannot independently mass-produce high-end chips and can only rely on imports. According to data, China's annual spending on chip imports has exceeded 400 billion US dollars since 2018. It is precisely because of this that when the United States revised the chip rules, China could not purchase advanced process chips and domestic companies were once caught in the embarrassing situation of chip shortage, which is shocking. Not only that, in order to comprehensively restrict the development of China's semiconductor chips, the United States also wooed Japan and the Netherlands to sign a tripartite agreement, attempting to use lithography machines to block China in the 14 nanometers process. But what the United States never expected was that its step-by-step -step pressure was exchanged for China's frequent progress. Thanks to its unremitting investment and indomitable spirit, Huawei returned to China with the Kirin chip in just three years and successfully achieved a breakthrough. What is more exciting is that China has also ushered in three major breakthroughs in the field of chips, making the rise of the Chinese chip unstoppable. Microwave photonic chips have made major breakthroughs. First, Wang Cheng, a professor at the Department of Electrical Engineering of City University of Hong Kong, and researchers from the Chinese University of Hong Kong jointly developed a microwave photonic chip. It is reported that the chip uses lithium niobate, microwave photonics technology, and successfully realizes rapid information processing and transmission. Its computing speed is 1,000 times faster than that of traditional silicon chips. The key is that energy consumption and cost have been reduced. It can be said that it can not only be applied to 5G per 6G wireless communication systems, but also provide powerful computing power for radar systems and artificial intelligence models, which has a very big driving effect on optical chips. Shanghai University of Technology successfully developed a super-optical disk. Secondly, in the field of storage chips, the research team of Shanghai University of Technology and Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics jointly developed a super-optical disk with ultra-large capacity and high resolution, which has been made public in the international academic journal Nature. According to researchers, the optical disk uses dual-beam controlled aggregation-induced emission super-resolution storage technology, successfully breaking through the limitations of optical diffraction, allowing the storage capacity of the optical disk to reach 1.6 pb, and also achieving information reading and writing with a 54 nanometers dot size and a 70 nanometers track spacing. It can be said that both the capacity and the read-write speed have broken the world record, becoming the world's first PB-level ultra-large capacity optical disk storage. 
This means that in the future field of storage chips, China is about to rise in an all-round way. Peking University has developed the world's fastest two-dimensional transistor. In addition, just some time ago, Peking University also announced a major technological breakthrough, that is, the team led by Peng Lianmao and Xiu Chengwang of the School of Electronics successfully developed a 10 nanometers ultra-short channel ballistic two-dimensional indium selenide transistor. It is reported that this is the world's fastest and lowest energy-consuming two-dimensional transistor. In fact, in this field, the silicon-based fin transistor developed by Intel has always occupied a leading position, but this time the Peking University research team used innovative technology to successfully reduce the voltage of the two-dimensional transistor to 0.5 V, and even the power consumption was reduced by 30%, breaking the limit of Intel silicon base. It also broke the American technological myth. As we all know, in the field of semiconductor chips, transistors and integrated circuits have always been the core. The United States officially took the lead in inventing these two core technologies to occupy the dominant position. However, with the development of the times, China has now made major breakthroughs in two-dimensional transistors and has also developed super-optical disks and microwave photonic chips. It is no exaggeration to say that the future, Chinese chips, will inevitably rise strongly and eventually achieve, overtaking on the curve of American companies. Seeing that China has made frequent breakthroughs in the field of chips, many foreign media have said, the more blockades, the stronger it is. Biden has sanctioned, lonely. The United States thought that it had modified the chip rules, prohibiting American chip companies from selling high-end chips to China and prohibiting ASML from selling high-end lithography machines to China, so that China would not be able to independently produce high-end chips. However, the facts have proved that the United States has obviously overestimated itself and underestimated China, because China has the world's largest consumer market and a steady stream of talents and funds. Only by giving China enough time can it achieve self-sufficiency. What American chips will it buy at that time? On the contrary, with the strong rise of Chinese chips, American chips will gradually decline in the future, and the so-called blockade and sanctions will become a big joke. Please like if you agree.